Hi guys, I am back with a project life process. This is the right side of my August 2020 layout and I am still in catch up mode. So this, oh, this is not a title card, but this picture, this is just a picture of my son. I think he's, I don't know if he's asleep or just in his bed. Oh, and yes, you see the, uh, the glue catastrophe. I don't know if my glue stick melted, but I don't know, it just decided to melt all over this uh, picture, but it's fine. But that is just a picture of my son with all his plushies, and he insists on having what well, he calls them plushies. They're, they're stuffed animals, all his stuffed animals. <laughs> he insists on having them all in his bed, and he sleeps in the weirdest positions. And after I put all after I put all of that glue, I decided that I needed to do some layering on this card. And I just added a little tag behind the picture. And adding tags behind things is kind of like one of my sail, fail safe, you know, just pop a tag anywhere and it will work. And that little sticker just says, hello, I love you. And I don't know, I I love the way this card turned out like these documenting these little moments like this is not the best picture is not the best lighting like it is kind of a weird picture but these are the moments it's kind of why I do project life and kind of why I'm making it a part to get caught up on 2020 even though 2020 was a very rough year I did not document 2019 so I feel like I know all of these little moments like this are lost like they're in they're my phone but if they're not in the book I don't know I feel like these little moments are lost so even though 2020 was a rough year I am pushing myself to get this documented in in the books so a little moment like this just remind me why I do project life and I did uh outline outline that tag just to make it pop from the background a little and I was after I put the tag down, I realized that I couldn't write any journaling on like you wouldn't be able to see the journaling. So I needed something with a white background and with some lines. So I am just uh, cutting that little piece up. And I think that's from I cannot think of her Paige Evans. That's one. It's a little cut from one of the cut apart sheets. And I remember that because. I think that was one of my one cut apart so I hated to cut that but it fits here perfectly and I'm just writing a little note about my son and all his little plushies because I feel like I don't know he's he'll be turning nine this year so he won't be playing with these much longer so I have to make sure I have these little moments documented And I think I add, I'm trying to add, I feel like the corners are a little bare, like the top of that tag, that corner needs something. And I found, I found these little hearts and they, they just work perfectly in that little spot. And I am still kind of working with that uh, same color scheme from my last layout. I think you'll see on the bottom card, like that lime green is still in this color scheme. And I said before, I know lime green is kind of hard. It's kind of a hard color for me to work with, but by it being so many other colors, like I think this side just came out more of like a rainbow. So I didn't struggle so much with that lime green. And I'm just trying to find a spot to put that, put that moment. And of course I did get glue on my picture, but that is fine because I printed, I printed my pictures, they're printed on regular paper. And this card is pretty simple. I don't think I do, do anything to it. All I just did is glue it down and then just add a little um, 
journaling down the side. I didn't use tags or anything. I just wrote that this is Isaiah's favorite game right now. And I am not a fan of Mario Maker because I loved Mario back in the day and I want to play Mario the way I want to play it. I don't want to make up the boards as I go along. <laughs> But Isaiah loves, he'd love this game at the moment. I think he's kind of over it. And again, the background of this picture is kind of dark. So I'm just cutting the edges off to lighten everything up a little. And I think this was a screen, either a screenshot or something from Instagram. But I was, I was um, adding new stickers to my shop. So I just wanted to include that. And I'm putting it on, like I'm putting it on this bright yellow just to, um, I don't know, lighten it up a little bit and keep that bright colorful theme going. And this, I don't know, this one was, was pretty, pretty simple. Because right now I'm not doing, for this part, I'm not doing a whole lot of journaling. I just want to, I'm just doing like the highlights. I'm in, I'm in catch up mode. And I did manage to get that another little lime green piece. And I think it said make it happen or something. But from doing this layout, I don't know, I think I got most of that color out of my stash. I worked, I worked through quite a bit of it. And for my journaling, I'm just writing, adding new stickers, adding new stickers to the shop. And I don't know, once, once I finished this layout, I started thinking, you know, maybe this lime green and hot pink, <laughs> maybe, this, maybe this is a new color scheme to work with. And at first I was just going to mount this and use it as, as a background. And then I got the idea to cut it as kind of like a Polaroid, but I think I messed up it still kind of looks like a Polaroid, but I messed up because I, I think I went back and I cut the bottom a little bit more and I cut it a little bit too much. It took away from that Polaroid effect. But this is just a simple card. I think I just have fun going going overboard with the embellishments because the um the pieces that I pulled out for this layout like a lot of this has been in my stash I don't know forever I don't know do you all have that stuff that's it's been in your stash a while so I was kind of excited that you know I finally get to use all of this stuff because once I get once I get all caught up with this year I'm really thinking about switching to a kit I just don't know yet And basically I'm putting my picture on top. Like I think that little that embellishment had some it had some words on it. So I just covered up covered up the words and used it just basically just for the colors. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get all these all these little all these little pieces. And this is kind of what I enjoy about Project Life. And I'm thinking once I get caught up, if I do switch to a kit, I may try my hand at like maybe six by 12 scrapbooking. I have never done full scrapbooking layouts. I mean, I've tried a few times, but they came out a mess, but I think I may try it again because I really enjoy like putting all the little elements together and I'm just, uh, popping that little piece up on some foam tape just to give this card a little dimension and the dim 
adding dimension does keep it from like it's still a it's still busy but the dimension i don't know kind of makes the busyness work I'm just adding one one more little piece of foam because I hate when I put um, put something in the book in the album in the corners when it's on foam tape in the corners kind of flatten out or smush. So that is it for this layout. I add this little piece and I do add some journaling and I my journaling just said. Uh, a random selfie because that's really all this was just a just a random selfie hanging out in my craft room but I hope you enjoyed this process I do I do show the um, full layout at the end I hope you enjoy this process and I will talk to you guys in my next catch-up video